Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how you can create your own blank template to use in Pages. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about it, join us, and get exclusive content. So when you create a new document in Pages usually you start with Choose a Template, you select the blank document, and then you're stuck with all the defaults which you may not like. For instance here I've got the defaults for the font, for the body style, and I may always change that to something I like better. You've got defaults for spacing, you've got defaults for the headers and footers, you've got defaults for character styles. You may be used to changing these all the time every time you start a new Pages document but you don't have to because you can set up a template that's your own template and make that the default template so you never have to set things up again. For instance let's select the text here and you can see this is body style and let's change the font to something else. I'll choose Minion Pro and let's say that's my favorite font. So now I've changed that. Let's even change the size so I want to make that 16 point. And that's what I like to have my body text set to. You can see now it shows that it's body text and it has an asterisk next to it meaning that it's been changed. Also there's an Update button. If I click the Update button it updates Body Style to reflect what's selected. So now Body Style really is Minion Pro 16 point. So now let's go and change all of the other styles and get rid of some we're not using. So I'll click here to see all the paragraph styles. Let me get rid of some I'm not going to even use. I won't use Heading 3 so I'll just select Delete Style. It's going to go and say replace it with something but I don't have anything here so I can just select anything. It really doesn't matter. Let me get rid of a few more. And now let me convert the rest of them to the font I want. So I'll go to Title and you can see it changes that sample text to Title. And I'll change that to Minion Pro as well. I'll make the font size a little smaller as well and I'll update the title. Let's go to Subtitle. Let's change that as well and the size and update. And I'll go through and do that for each one of these that I want to keep. So now you can see all of my paragraph styles are updated to use a new font, some of them new sizes. Now the next thing is that I want to have more spacing between paragraphs. I like to write that way. So I'm going to select all of this and go to Spacing here and after Paragraph I'm going to add 8 points. So now it creates this nice little break between paragraphs easier to write and read. And now I want to update the body style so it saves that 8 points as part of the body style. Next thing I want to do is add a page number at the bottom of all the pages. So I'm going to go to View and then Show Layout and now I can see the footer here. I'm going to click on the middle footer area and say Insert Page Number and just choose 1. So now part of this template is going to be that the footer is going to always have that page number at the bottom. People mostly think of using templates when you want to start off with a document that has certain things in place like for a letter or a flyer or something like that where there are elements that are already there. But it's also very useful to create a blank template. A word processing template that has nothing in it. It's totally blank. But the styles and elements are set to exactly what you want. Before I save this as a template I want to get rid of all the sample text. I want it to be blank. I want this to be my blank template. So I want to start off with nothing there. Anything I leave in here is going to be part of that template. So I don't want to have that sample text in place. So now that I've got everything the way I want I can go and say File and then I can do Save as Template. And it's going to ask me if I want to save it normally or add to Template Chooser. I'm going to add that to the Template Chooser and I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it My Blank Template. And it appears at the bottom of the list here. You can see all the subcategories here and under My Templates is My Blank Template. It's at the bottom if I go to All. Now I'm going to go to Pages Preferences and in here I'm going to set it that for a new document it's going to use a specific template. I'm going to change the template and choose this blank template. And now you can see it says Use Template My Blank Template. Now I can close all of this and just remove that document I was working on there. And I can say File New and when I do I get a new blank document. Notice the body text and all the styles are the font that I wanted. Notice the paragraph spacing is 8 points. 
and even notice I have the page number there at the bottom. Now I have a blank template that saves me a lot of time whenever I create a new document. And there's nothing to prevent you from having several templates like this. If I use File and then hold the Option key down you can see I could do New from Template Chooser and I have room here for as many templates as I want. So I can create other templates that I could use. Only one can be that default but I can create as many as I want. Click on My Templates here to quickly get to them and choose which one I want to start. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.